They've been waiting since daylight. Volunteers make sure they have that extra pillow, that extra tucked to the quilt, even a small gift to hold. And then with a quiet word, the volunteers line up. There are no ranks here, everyone on the line, non-com or officer or civilian, all the same. Each is a volunteer. Each is here to carry out what they consider an honor, to help a wounded warrior on his or her way home. Look, got it. Now I'm going home. I'm going home uh, through Andrews Air Force Base, I guess, first. I may be at Walter Reed for a little bit, not sure yet. Probably headed back to uh, Fort Bragg, North Carolina with the family, most likely. And from there, who knows, right? Yeah, from there, I, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully stay in the Army and, and keep doing my job, but we'll, we'll see. They are loaded aboard the ambulance buses for a short trip down to the tarmac in the back of the plane. Specially staffed, specially equipped, to bring our wounded home. I've been working for the Red Cross here at the ASF for about five years now. Uh, my wife and I came in to present a quilt to a wounded warrior on Christmas Eve uh, and discovered that we could volunteer uh, to serve the wounded warriors uh, in, in the ASF and fell in love with it and we've been doing it ever since. Anyhow, about this patient here, um, just, just try to encourage him to do this. I was a nurse before I came a volunteer, so that's something that I've always wanted to do was to help out wherever I can with any of the patients or the soldiers or whatever. I always like to give. We make sure we have coffee made, we have a drink cart set up for we can do the meet and greet, we set up the snack food, um, we have quilts to hand out and so we we make sure everything is set up, and then once the, we're notified that the buses are on the way, uh, a group of the volunteers, we go down the hall and we meet them as they come in, and we hand out drinks, and we do the welcome home and make them feel just as welcome as can be. Well, they're gonna have steak, fried chicken, three sides, salad, rolls, sweet tea, and dessert. We're gonna carry their trays into the Maryland Room, which is their lounge for the evening. Uh, we have a big screen TV, recliners, computers, a couple of game stations, and uh, we set up uh, portable tray tables in there to uh, allow us to, to serve them the meal there, and then we'll clear that away and it, it goes back to being a lounge. It makes me feel good um, to know I've made a difference to help somebody, and when these, these young men and women come through, and I see that they've enjoyed their visit and they're happy. It just it makes me feel like I've done something that's really um, a blessing to all. Mm -hmm.